Welcome to a new vlog. Sorry, I'm just trying to stabilize my camera. It is so beautiful outside today. I was just on the balcony. I wanted to get some fresh air and start my day outside there. Relaxing, writing in my gratitude journal, which yes, I still do have. I still write in this. I've been writing in this journal for the past maybe two or three years. It's almost filled up though. I'm like on page 190 something. But yes, I just wanted to take some time out this morning and practice gratitude and honestly i don't do it that often and i'm trying to be better at it and just start my day off on a positive note and it felt really good to do that i also started off with some prayers and just kind of manifesting what i want for the day and for the week so yeah in today's vlog i wanted to do some self-care and i feel like kind of started that already with the mental self-care, spiritual self-care. But it's been a while since I've done my self-care routine and I wanted to do an updated one and just kind of give myself a day off because I have been hustling every single day for like the past three weeks. And today's actually Amazon Prime Day. So I did so much work the past few days preparing for it. I posted content on YouTube, on TikTok, Instagram, my stories. And I was working till like maybe 11 o'clock at night last night just to get ready for it. All my stuff is posted, I'm done with that, and I might do some shopping myself a little bit later. But yeah, I wanted to kind of just give myself a break today and kind of take it easy, relax a little bit, and also do my beauty maintenance routine, sort of like my beauty reset routine. I am about to go get my nails done. I tried to cut back my spendings on beauty maintenance stuff, but the only thing that I will drop money for is getting my nails done because I have done my nails at home and it's just not as good as getting it professionally done. So I wanna do like a brown color and maybe some fall nails, maybe get them long, just, I don't know, for a change and to be cute. So we're gonna do that today and then I'm gonna do all my other beauty maintenance things at home to save a buck. I'm gonna do my own pedicure. I need to wax my upper lip and all that fun stuff and then we're gonna just yes have a nice peaceful day maybe take a bath be nice and calm and serene Ooh, do a facial I'm so excited to do stuff like that it's been a long time since I've had a day like that so I'm excited for this vlog and then I have another fall fashion haul to show you guys which I'm really excited to because I haven't opened the package yet and tried the things on so we'll do a try on haul later and it'll be a nice day a nice vlog so I'm gonna actually place a Starbucks order because Again, it's been a while. Let me actually see what the last time or the last When was the last day I placed a Starbucks order? I'm really proud of myself for not going to Starbucks as much as I thought I would this fall I thought I was gonna go all the time Cuz you know, it's pumpkin spice season. But honestly, I haven't been drinking much pumpkin spice. Okay, let's see the last time I went was September 14th today is October 10th Wow, I'm so proud of myself. Last year, I used to always ask for an iced chai latte with pumpkin cold foam on the top, but, and I don't know if this is a new drink, but they do have a drink now that's literally chai latte with the pumpkin. It's called iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte. So that's what I always get when I go. I haven't had coffee yet today, so this will be my first and only coffee of the day. And I get it with oat milk. Oat milk, I think, just makes anything taste good. And there's a Starbucks literally right next door to my nail salon, so I'm gonna just stop by in there pick it up and then head into the nail salon okay i placed my order so i should probably leave now i love my outfit today so i wanted to show you guys and i recently just picked up this little long plaid jacket from amazon i did show this in my amazon prime day video so if you saw that, just know I'm still obsessed with it and I'm wearing it all the time because it's so comfy and cozy and I just love the length of it. I don't have any shackets or any plaid shirts that are this long. So cute for fall and I love the color. So I just have this on and then I have, 
a black bodysuit on also from Amazon, which is also on sale for Prime Day. By the time I post this, oh, actually I'm posting this tomorrow. So Prime Day is still going on right now. Today's the last day, the 11th. So if you haven't shopped yet or if you haven't checked out my Amazon Prime video, go check it out because this is on a Prime Day sale. The bodysuit is on Prime Day sale. My jeans are from Abercrombie. These are the 90s straight leg curve love. And I'm just wearing my Ugg slippers with it. Like this is the comfiest, coziest, and cutest fall outfit. So this is my, my outfit for today. The nail reveal i am so obsessed with them i originally wanted just plain brown but then last minute i decided to add a chrome on top and it's kind of like pinky i actually wanted more of like a silver kind of chrome like a neutral chrome i'm actually kind of digging this pinkish purplish tint to it so i'm obsessed love them i got these new sunglasses i wanted to show you guys they are so adorable it's these two right here they're from a brand called diff eyewear and i just love the style of them both i wanted to show it in the vlog because i just got them but look at these so chic i don't know why these kind of are giving me audrey hepburn and breakfast at tiffany's vibes so chic i love the shape and the kind of thickness of the lens so there are those ones and then these are aviator style and it's kind of like a gradient color it's really dark black up here and light on the bottom but i love them and i like how the gradient is it really helps shield the sun so i love them but i can't wear them right now because i am not wearing contacts and those are not prescription sunglasses these are my prescription sunglasses i wear them probably every time i vlog in the car you see me wear these these are from yes glasses and these are prescription. Anyway, I'm all done with my nails and my errands. Ugh, I feel so complete. I'm gonna go back home now and continue with my self-care day. I'm thinking tonight I don't want to cook because I want to do as little as possible today and I'm kind of craving a sushi. Oh my God, I've been thinking about sushi for the past two hours, so I'm definitely gonna get some tonight. Oh. I want to buy a new tea kettle. We're going to do some online shopping when we get home. I do want to get a workout in today. I haven't worked out yet. I have been working out in the mornings, like every day. Not every day, like five days a week I try to work out is my goal. Sometimes it's four. But I don't like to work out in the night anymore. I used to always work out after work when it was dark outside. But I realized when I do that, when I plan to work out at night, it doesn't happen. I just get so tired and so lazy at nighttime and I have no motivation. I am my most motivated in the morning and early afternoon. So that's when I try to get everything done because I get so much done. I have so much energy and motivation, but by the time like dusk rolls around, I'm just tapped out for the day and that includes working out. So I always try to work out first thing when I wake up every morning, but this morning I was so busy trying to get stuff up for Amazon Prime Day. I really just didn't have time. And then I wanted to get my nails done before the crowd rolled in in the later afternoon. So we're gonna go home, get a nice workout in. I really wanna do yoga so bad because I've been having kind of like stiffness in my back. So I think I just need a really good like 30 minute yoga sesh. Definitely wanna do a cardio workout and maybe some Pilates as well. Maybe we'll do like a Pilates and yoga infusion. So I should show you guys, cause I don't think I've shown this in the vlog before, but I should show you guys my setup for when I do my um, workouts at home. Aside from the Peloton bike, I obviously do that, but I also like to do like strength workouts and shadow boxing and all that stuff. And I use the Peloton app and I have it on my TV in my living room. So I'll show you guys that whole setup when I work out later today. Cause I, yeah, I don't think I've ever shown that before, but it's so amazing. It's $40 a month for the Peloton subscription. You don't even need a bike. Peloton should really sponsor me because I am such an advocate for them. I love talking about it. And I'm just so obsessed with my bike and the, the app itself. Like I feel like I really have gotten stronger and my endurance has really built up because of their workouts and their instructors. I love all their instructors. I actually saw that they were doing a partnership with Lululemon 
and I think a lot of people are upset about that because they're doing away with the workout mirror and I think they're I'm not really quite sure what they're doing but I think they're infusing like Peloton workouts with Lululemon workouts I'm not quite sure because I'm not really familiar with the workout mirror I feel for the people that have the Lululemon mirror because that's probably was so expensive and you know they probably liked those workouts and they bought the mirror for a reason and then there here's Peloton coming in like okay hey actually we're gonna give you some Peloton workouts it's like if they want Peloton workouts they can just they can buy a bike or a treadmill or get the subscription but I don't know I think everyone should just find a workout that they enjoy no matter what it is like for me personally I absolutely hate running I can't stand running mainly because I have asthma and I can't breathe when I run but I love cycling and I found that was my passion I believe self-care is also about taking care of your body physically and get it moving some way somehow even just going on a 30 minute walk that counts that's moving your body so i am at the point where i like look forward to moving every day and if i don't get some sort of workout in like even a walk or whatever i just feel very incomplete i feel uncomfortable almost like i feel like my body is stiff and i need to get it moving or stretch it or something so that's another reason why i really love yoga because it just feels so good on the body and when i was younger i didn't really understand how yoga felt good because I was still younger I didn't have as bad as back problems back then as I do now so now that I actually feel pain in my body yoga feels so good now so yes we're gonna do a yoga slash Pilates workout today and it'll be great I have another package from NAKD I did do a haul I think a few vlogs ago it was recent but I love this online store I have been talking about them for the past couple years they have the chicest most timeless classy pieces the clothes that they carry are right up my alley for what my ideal style is it's really big in Europe it's like the European girl style and I really love that style so I got some more things just a lot of good fall essentials i've been needing some new jeans like really baggy jeans so i did get a couple and then i got a coat a dress so a lot of good things i'll do a try on haul after i open these all up so the first thing like i said i wanted to get some new jeans and these are i believe wide-legged yeah pretty wide in the leg and i've been trying to get some more baggy pants i'm hoping it'll fit it looks a little bit small up in the top but I love the color of these kind of like a light wash so I got those and then I also got the same exact pair but in black and I really don't have any black jeans I think I have just one pair of black jeans so I really wanted to pick up another one again it's the same style I got a couple jackets I did get this blazer because I love blazers I literally live in blazers in the fall time this one is a fitted double breasted blazer super cute very high quality it looks very classy and i really wanted a fitted blazer because all of my blazers literally all of them are very oversized like i get most of my blazers from the men's section of thrift stores so i wanted a more fitted one a more feminine one so that one looked really cute on the website and then i got to this top this brown plisse top, it's high neck. I love brown in the fall. Ooh, kind of matches my nails a little bit, but I thought that would be cute with those high-waisted black jeans, so we'll try that together. Then I got a few different tops. This one is a long sleeve gray collared shirt. I love the style of this one because I have something like this in black and I literally wear it all the time, like once a week, so I wanted to get another one that's kind of the same thing and this one is a ribbed gray one this is a nice kind of casual shirt you can wear with jeans or sweatpants or whatever so i kind of wanted something i could wear for like every day and then this i got this is actually on clearance so i just picked it up because i thought i could wear this under blazers it's kind of a summery top but again i thought i could layer it now just wear it with a big oversized black blazer and some pants but i love the color of it oh my gosh i was so excited when i saw this sweater online because this is so different i don't have anything that's this kind of print or style this like diamond checkered sweater gives me 60s vibes and if you know me i love a good vintage piece or a piece that looks like it's vintage like something from the 60s 70s 80s 90s 
I love stuff like that. The print is literally just what sold me because I have so many plain, bland, beige uh, sweaters. So I wanted something that was fun. I got this dress and again, the print is really what sold me. I'm trying to, you know, step out of my comfort zone more and not just wear solid colors. I'm trying to incorporate more prints and designs in my wardrobe. So I thought this was really cool looking. It's a long kind of maxi dress or it might be a midi dress. I think it's maxi, yeah. It has a little slit in the back there and it's pretty fitted, but it is really stretchy. The material is so thick. And this is kind of a, maybe like a sweater material, I, I would say. It's pretty thick, so this is good for winter time and cold weather. So I love it. I don't know where I'll wear that, but I feel like that's something you could wear honestly anywhere, any occasion. Oh, I got a skirt. I totally forgot that I got this, but I've been needing a good black mini skirt. I don't have any black mini skirts, but I'm always really wanting to wear one. Like when I put my outfits together, I like wear a top or I wear a sweater and I'm like, shoot, this would look so good with a black mini skirt, but I don't have any. So I finally got one. This one is like a cargo detailed one, which I thought was really cute and different and unique. And it has a zipper here on the side. There's not much stretch to it, um, but it does seem like really good quality. And I really love how it feels. It kind of is kind of heavy. It's not like thin or cheap, but that's going to be cute with some tights and a top and maybe some loafers for the fall. Lastly, I got a really big coat. I have a couple coats from NAKD and they're my favorite coats that I own because of the quality. And they are worth the price because it's such expensive feeling quality so this jacket is like this army green color again i don't have anything that's this color and trying to step out of my comfort zone of wearing beige and neutrals and i thought this would be so cute to pair with some sneakers and black pants and pretty much an all black outfit underneath and we are going to new york again for christmas time and i thought this would be a really cute new york jacket so yeah i got a size 38 in this so I'm size US 8 and that equivalents to European size 38 so I pretty much got everything in a size medium and 38 that's everything that I picked up I'm gonna now try it all on I love the jacket it is so long I'm 5 6 for reference but I love long jackets like this especially for cold weather but I love the fit and the style of it and it's so comfy and warm and I'm really glad I chose this color. I think they had another color too. I think it was either, oh, it was black they had, but I think my size was sold out. So I went with this and I'm so happy I did because I already have so many black jackets, but this one is like perfect. And I'm also wearing the jeans. Here they are. And a little bit tight on the top, but otherwise a good fit. I really like the bottom. Like I was really looking for baggy jeans like this that kind of just droop over your shoes like this. So. I really like the style of it and they're pretty comfortable too. Here's the gray top and the skirt. The gray top is not as short as I thought it would be. It is cropped, but it's not too bad when you wear something high-waisted like this. So I love it. I really love the detailing of this um, neckline. I like how it's kind of thick here and the rib detailing is so cute. So I love it and it's also really comfortable. And then the skirt I'm so obsessed with, it actually does have some stretch to it. When I first opened it, it felt like it didn't, but it actually does. This outfit I really like. Maybe I'll wear this with some tights when it gets cooler, but yeah, these two I am loving and they both fit perfectly. I love the checkered sweater or the diamond sweater, diamond checkered. It's so pretty. I can't wait to wear this with some jeans and stuff. Even with the mini skirt, it looks cute too. It really reminds me of like the Queen's Gambit or what is that movie called? That show on Netflix called? The one where she was playing chess. I don't know why it just reminds me of that. Very, very 60s. I love it. The dress is perfect. Love the design and the fit is good. The length is so cute too. And I love wearing dresses like this with knee high boots for the fall and for the winter. So here's like an up close of the neckline and the print. It's very stretchy and it's really warm. So this will definitely be a nice, good winter dress. The brown top is very, very cute. I love the way it kind of just like falls on me and it's really comfy, so much room, very stretchy and I love the sleeves. I think by now, if you guys have seen my past hauls, you guys know I love the like kind of baggy bell bottom sleeves i don't know what you call these like the bell sleeves yeah i think that's what you call them but love it and the color is so beautiful 
love how it looks like with my nails and my hair that I recently just dyed brown too. I think brown is my new favorite color. Maybe because it's fall. It's a really nice fall color. Lastly, the blazer and the little green top. I love the detailing up here, the like ruched detailing. And it's such a pretty color. I like it with black too. And then here's the blazer. So yeah, you can kind of see how the sides kind of go in. It's more like fitted. I'm going to actually button it to kind of give it more the full effect of the of the blazer but yeah so it's very cinched at the waist and i really like that i think this is going to be very cute for like a little night out and wearing it with some black pants too very pretty very feminine and this would be cute for work also if you work in an office and you do you know business wear but for going out too i love stuff just like this i'm about to do my workout now i just put on my workout clothes my top I love this top. It's from Zella is the brand. Yeah, the one from Nordstrom. I picked this up during the um, anniversary sale in the summer. So it's like a nice lightweight top. I like to wear this when I do Pilates and yoga. And then I'm just wearing some Lululemon lines. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I do for my workouts. So I do everything in the living room. I always move the coffee table out of the way. And I have plenty of space. And good thing my carpet is comfortable. I don't even use a yoga mat when I do my Pilates. Um, or yoga because it's just very comfortable on the floor. So I'm going to mirror the workout to the TV and this is the Peloton app on my phone and they have so many workouts like they have yoga, they have meditation, a lot of strength workouts. So I usually just filter it by um, up here. They have the different categories. There's the cycling for when I'm on the bike, stretching, yoga, outdoor, running, walking, cardio. I do a lot of HIIT workouts too um, just to like change it up. So they have those there and rowing. Oh yeah, they have a row machine. I totally forgot. But anyway, I'm going to go back to yoga. I'm going to just do a 10 minute one. So yes, I just mirror it to the TV. So yeah, I just have it on my TV and that's, that's it. I do all my workouts right here in the, in the living room. doing all those weird twists but oh my gosh it felt so amazing because I also have lower back problems ever since I was in high school because I used to be a cheerleader and we used to lift we were supposed to lift with our legs they told us to lift with our legs but sometimes we couldn't help it and well I couldn't help it and I lifted with my back so ever since then but um yeah I felt really good on my lower back and my outer hips and there's so many times when I will cycle and I'll do like a quick stretch after the workouts but I really needed that deep kind of focused stretch on the outer um, hip. And honestly, it felt so relaxing. I closed my eyes during the time and I could have fallen asleep. I really just was so relaxed. Probably do an hour on the Peloton. Oh, I also was keeping track of um, the workout on my Apple Watch. I'm obsessed with my Apple Watch. I've had an Apple Watch for years, but I've never used it so much until recently. I'm really pressed at keeping track of my steps and my workouts and like closing my rings. So. Yeah, that's always my goal every day is to close my rings, which is kind of like a fun way to stay healthy and be active. So yes, okay, we're gonna do a cycle class now. And then after that, I'll probably maybe do an arm workout and probably shower and um, do other beauty things and then order sushi and have dinner. Right now it's four o'clock. So by the time I'm done working out and showering and getting ready, it'll probably be six o'clock. So and that'll be our day and then we'll have a nice self-care night and when i do these self-care days i always like to vlog it because i feel like it really helps me relax even more like knowing i'm documenting it and talking about it verbally really helps too so when i'm sitting here talking about you know working out and doing these self-care rituals like it just feels good to talk about so hopefully it feels good to listen to all of it too so anyway, I'm gonna also link my shirt in the description in case you guys wanna check it out. It is the most breathable 
workout shirt and when it gets colder outside I like to wear long sleeve tops when I work out because I get cold so yes it's really comfortable and it's cute too my workout is done shower is done ordered my food it's on the way so we're gonna do a face mask while I wait this is the Clarins Intensive Facial Lift Wrap. It refines, relieves, and brightens skin. And I just love the texture of this. It's like really soft and, oh, I should get a, a scooper. I'm not used to having long nails, but yeah, I'm gonna just put this on my face and leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes. And instantly when I take the mask off, my face is very soft, like a baby's bottom. Very soft and Hydrated, moist, I hate that word, moist. It's okay when it's moisturizer, but moist on its own is just a ugh sounding word. Um, and yeah, it just kind of helps to revive the skin a little bit. So I'm gonna just put this on. And then after I take this off, I wanna do an eye mask cause the eyes can use some help. An ambulance just came to my building. I swear there's always fire trucks and ambulances coming here. I don't know if that's like an apartment thing because there's so many people that live here. But does that happen to you guys at your apartment buildings? Like ambulances and fire trucks always coming? It's not all the time. I'd probably say like once a month. Yeah, maybe once a month. I just, you know, hope everyone's okay, but it's kind of concerning how often it comes. One thing that I am definitely about to pick up from the Prime Day sale, the Caudalie Detox Mask. It's the best mask I've ever used. I just love how when it dries up on your face, you can see your pores. Like it literally is sucking the dirt and the grease and the grime out of your pores. So it is a very clarifying mask. I haven't had it for a while, but when I used to have it, I used to love it. So I'm going to pick that up because that's currently on sale. And then maybe a couple bodysuits that are skims dupes because if you watched my Amazon video there are a lot of skim dupes on Amazon so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping later on but okay I have my mask on so I'm gonna just leave it on and I think my food is almost here I just got these new house slippers from Amazon another thing I picked up from the sale and they're so comfortable I've had them for a week now. They'll probably get really beat up over time. But for now, I'm just loving them. So comfortable. The bottom of them feel like little Tempur-Pedic mattresses. It's so soft. There is no better feeling than busting out a new fresh pair of house slippers. I got way too much food. I kind of got carried away and excited, but I got some gyoza, some yakisoba, and then with my sushi, I'm always really basic. I just got California and shrimp tempura. And then we got some miso soup. And I'm gonna have a hum, zero sugar probiotic kombucha with it.
continuing my goal. What? Kenny Ortega directed this? How did I not know that? Maybe I did know that and I forgot. Kenny Ortega, the guy who directed all the High School Musical movies, directed Hocus Pocus 2. Anyway, I'm continuing my goal or my 31 days of Halloween by watching a Halloween movie every single night. So tonight I'm watching Hocus Pocus. I actually haven't seen it yet this season, but it's one of my faves. And last night me and Otto watched such a scary movie. We watched, um, what was it called? Evil Dead Rise. And it's new. And I remember when I saw it in theaters, like when I saw the trailer in theaters a few months ago in the spring, I told myself I was not going to see the movie because that was the scariest trailer I ever saw. Anything that has like demons and like possession like just scares me. So I saw the trailer and I told myself, nope, never going to see that. But Anto really wanted to watch it. And we watched it and it was good because most scary movies are kind of like bad and weird and kind of dumb. But that was a really good movie. Like the plot line, the storyline was good, but it was just so scary. I couldn't even look half the time and I can't see far away. Like I need to wear my glasses when I watch TV or else it's blurry. So I actually took my glasses off on purpose so I could not see those faces that they were showing because they were just so scary. I get so scared, but I love watching scary movies because I like to be scared. So I watched that and then I also watched Coraline for the first time. I watched this movie called Teen Witch, which is an 80s movie and Blake Lively's sister was in that movie. I watched that for the first time and then I think I watched Halloween. Yeah, I watched Halloween Town one night. Oh, and then I watched The New Haunted Mansion on Disney+. Plus. So those are the movies I've watched so far. I'm doing a really good job with my Halloween night movie night every night oh and i watch twitches that's one of my favorite ones from when i was a kid i just love that movie because it reminds me of the clothes i used to wear in 2005 because i think that's when it was filmed and it makes me miss that time and i actually got like fashion inspo from them with like the little pink blazers and the big chunky headband that tia maori wore in that movie so yeah all these halloween movies that i've been watching are just very nostalgic for me. So I'll probably just be here for the rest of the night and then I might try to get some reading done and then also write in my gratitude journal one more time because the gratitude journal, the five minutes journal, it has a morning section on the top and then a nighttime section on the bottom where you write your reflection on the day on the bottom, how it went, what you were grateful for and all that stuff. I'll probably do that in a bit. Calling it a night. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next vlog.